Hi, welcome to Elaine and Lightning's video blog number 22. Today we're going to continue with A Course in Miracles lessons. Today is lesson number 13, and it is A Meaningless World in Gender Sphere. Yesterday we did I Am Upset because I see a meaningless world. And these, these lessons build on each other, and these two lessons are very similar. This one is more specific as it gets into an actual emotion of fear or acknowledging the fear, okay? If you want to understand this lesson more, I recommend that you go and get the Course in Miracles and, and you know, read through the lesson thoroughly and you can apply this video several times in one day or over the next several days and you will um, find as you go through these, these uh, lessons that I've been doing every day that you will come to see how powerful they are and the effect that they can have on your life I am amazed at what's going on in my life as a result of doing these um, on a video blog and sharing them. It's not the first time I've been through them, it's actually the second time specifically, although a lot of the lessons last year I did many of them many, many days in a row. As I noticed I had a lot of resistance to accepting an idea, then I would just carry it over into several days. And then I would do a lot of EFT tapping on the different things that came up while I was doing the lessons. And I, in these particular lessons, I've been sticking really close to the lessons themselves and just doing what the lesson exercises say instead of doing more of the tapping, of more EFT tapping on the lessons. And that's just because I've been taking it one day at a time and doing as I feel guided. And this is another one of those lessons where I feel like it's going to be very powerful to just do the lesson. And we do actually do some tapping on our body while we're doing the lesson. I believe it really helps us stay present and it also does help us to let go more. And so today's lesson is um, has brought up a lot of anxiety for me and I wasn't surprised because whenever I saw what the lesson was and it actually states in the lesson that recognition of meaningless arouses intense anxiety in all the separated ones. And it represents a situation which God and the ego challenge each other as to whose meaning is to be written in the empty space that meaningless provides. The ego rushes in frantically to establish its own ideas there, fearful that the void may otherwise be used to demonstrate its own impotence and unreality. And on this alone, it is correct. Because it is essential, therefore, that you learn to recognize the meaninglessness, excuse me, the meaningless and accept it without fear. If you're fearful, it's certain that you will endow the world with attributes that it does not possess and crowd it with images that do not exist. To the ego, illusions are safety devices, as they must also be to you who equate yourself with the ego. Now, actually, a meaningless world isn't even possible, but because nothing without meaning exists, and that's really the point here. Um, but it doesn't follow that we're going to perceive something and then say it doesn't have meaning because we're not quite there yet in this process. And I know I'm not because I had a lot of anxiety and I kept coming up with a lot of excuses about not making the video blog today and not making it now, not maybe making it later, or, you know, and I knew I could continue to make excuses until I didn't do it at all today. And I know that if we want to move forward, we've got to actually face those fears and so that's why I am doing it. I'm really finding these to be very powerful to do on video and share them with you. Even though they may just seem like a short little exercise, there's a lot of power in them. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to just close our eyes and we're going to tap on Karate Chalk Point and then we're going to say this first phrase with our eyes closed, okay? So take a deep breath, too, to get yourself grounded. I am looking at a meaningless world. Now open your eyes and repeat this phrase over and over after me while you look around. And that's all we're going to do is just really notice what we're looking at while we say this phrase. Okay? I am looking at a meaningless world. I am looking at a meaningless world. I am looking at a meaningless world. 
I am looking at a meaningless world. I am looking at a meaningless world. I am looking at a meaningless world. I am looking at a meaningless world. I am looking at a meaningless world. I am looking at a meaningless world. I am looking at a meaningless world. Now close your eyes and conclude with this statement. A meaningless world engenders fear because I think I am in competition with God. You may find it difficult to avoid re resistance in one form or another to this concluding statement. Whatever form such resistance may take, you don't have to be repeating this, um, you can just listen and tap. Remind yourself that you are really afraid of such a thought because of the vengeance of the enemy. You are not expected to believe this statement at this point and will probably dismiss it as, pros as preposterous. Note carefully, however, any signs of covert or overt fear which it may arouse. This is our first attempt at stating an explicit cause and effect relationship of a kind which you are very inexperienced in recognizing. Do not dwell on the concluding statement and try not even to think of it except during the practice periods. That will suffice at present. Okay, take a deep breath. It definitely does bring up the resistance and the anxiety for me as I address this particular lesson. So I'm going to be uh, doing this lesson three or four times today. Don't do it for more than a minute at a time, especially if you notice a lot of resistance. And just notice what the resistance is and what the feelings are and just acknowledge that it's fear and that it's a fear of separation and the separation really is our fear that um, we're in competition with God because the world wants to look at the good and the evil and think of them as two separate things. You can look at it as light and darkness. You can look at it as God and ego. However you want to view it, there's this contrast. And um, it feels like a battle. And it is, um, it can be very intense. So we're just going to address it and we're going to allow it to, to just be there and we're going to move beyond it. And I'll, I'm sure I'll be doing more tapping on this in videos um, on my video blog where we can address some of these things. But today I'm just feeling like I'm going to continue honoring these, these lessons and just let them settle the way they are because they're very powerful. Um, thank you so much. That's enough for today. I'll see you next time. Elaine Enlightening at taplightunlimited.com. Bye-bye.